it is here on this very island that I have found the very essence of the devil. Ha! We're out of it. Expected the unexpected, and I was <laughs> satisfied in the extreme. What appealed to me about the character was Marlon Brando. The reason I did the job, it was all kind of fun and a great challenge, thinking of the range of possibilities that Mr. Brando would bring to the character of Dr. Moreau and what he might create. Not to kill anything, anytime. That law. That law has been broken. Who is he? That was the process of creating Montgomery. Oh, you'll like it. I like it. A little Jimi Hendrix. All oh, right. Ow! Wait, 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 wait. Are you a doctor? Just Are you a doctor? Well, I'm more like a vet. H.G. Wells' version of the story, which is 100 years old last year, in some ways is held intact, and our story in other ways is forfeited for a higher mission, which now is the survival of the species, humans. The people that you witness are animals that have been fused with human genes. And that when man tries to be God, he suffers and goes to hell. It can be a hell of the mind or physical hell, but that's what happens. so many uh, areas of one's life that you try to, you, know, you hope you have the courage to incorporate in your job because it'll have the most meaning if you do. There's a scene that my character ends up going insane, becoming for a moment Moreau. What I quoted was a poem that had been cut from another movie. And all who heard should cry, beware, beware. I wore a shirt of my father's who passed on. We try to just put it all in together, and it's very eclectic and weird in an entertaining way what the story ends up being about. We found you in the ocean, half alive, and we brought you here in order to save your life. 16, take one. Action. Can I give you a hand with the rest of the things? Oh, no, that's all right. The others will take it. The others? The islanders? Yes, the islanders. Well, I really enjoyed working with him. I thought he was great. He's a very intense, very intelligent, really inventive the whole time. Kind of kept you on your toes. Why have you locked the door? This is for your own good. It's been probably the hardest job. It's been David. He's pretty much in trouble the whole time. I can help you to get off this island, but only if you promise never to do or say anything like my father. We must go now. is a really important milestone for digital domain because really it's our first 3D character generated creatures in feature films. 3D images are, you know, the best example of that is Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs. It took us seven years to get to the point of being able to do that. This is a Bengal tiger. At the very end is a motion capture that we got and we put that together so that it would be much more like a uh, running cat man. <laughs> And then to work with Stan Winston as he's creating creatures really was the perfect venue for us. This is a huge endeavor for the studio, especially in, from the element of uh, makeup and makeup effects. We're talking about creating somewhere in the realm of close to 50 different beast people. Implant. He pulled out his implant. They all have implants. It's how we shock them into submission. Now I am the law! 
you're going to bring something to the screen that people haven't seen before. It's a moral fable, a warning in terms of how arrogant man can be and how far man should go. It's satisfying and inspiring to be in a story in such a beautiful place with such a great cast and be able to have the ideas and the terrain have the potential to be about something important.